go. Okay, everybody, I've got my associate Kuali here, and he has identified a sneaky little GCSE question. Now, this question, I've seen different types of it come up a few times, and it's a sneaky little GCSE question. So you need to watch how it's done, and it's fairly easy. All you need to recognize, now really, the sneakiness here is just the fact that they've given us two triangles. Do you see this? You so, guys see this? Yeah, go ahead, Kuali. So what I did is I worked out the area, because it's hard to do the area of the kite, right? So I worked out the area of the both triangles. Well done, well done. The area of the square and took the, um, the triangle yeah. and the area of the Chile region. Well, I think I think that's cool. Now, first thing, what does it say? The diagram shows a square with a perimeter of sixteen centimeters. Now, now, you one thing you need to know about a square that all sides are the same. So, what is sixteen divided by four? Ah, uh, four. Four. So we know each side is going to be four centimeters, right? So this is a sneaky little GCSE question. So if each side is four centimeters, because it's a square. And 16 divided by four, that's the perimeter, is four centimeters. So this bit here must be one centimeter, correct? Yeah. And this whole bit here is what? Four centimeters. Four centimeters. Let me just do it properly so everybody can appreciate what I'm doing. That whole bit there is four centimeters. Now, let me give us, let me give you the game plan. We are asked to calculate the proportion of the area inside the square that is shaded. What the game plan is. It's to calculate the area of this, the whole square, which is what, Kuali? Um, this is um, 4 times 4, 36. Uh, yeah. 4 times 4, which is 16 centimeters squared, right? My brother in the background said me. It's okay. That's fine, Kuali. So, so it's just 4 times 4 because it's side by side, right? So 4 times 4 is 16 centimeters squared. That's the area of the whole square. Now, to calculate the area of just the shaded region, as Kuali said, we're going to work out the area of this triangle here and this triangle here. That's the only sneaky bit, to be honest. And remember, the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. So let's work out this first blue one. The base is, um, is what? It's four centimeters. Yeah. The height, the vertical height is one, right? Yes. And... And divide that by two. And of course, that's just going to give you two. two centimeters squared. So that bit's there is two centimeters squared. And this one is four, right? Times right. the height, which is two centimeters squared. So it's yeah. base times height. So, it, it, so again, squared. yeah, so it's going to be four times two divided by two. Jesus, so four. eight. Divided by two is four centimeters squared. Now, what's the final step? And um, so the final step is to do sixteen centimeters squared minus four centimeters squared minus two centimeters. Squared. Exactly. So sixteen minus those triangles there. Sixteen minus two plus four. Yeah. Of course, yeah. is sixteen minus ten. Sorry, sixteen minus six, 16. which is ten. Yeah. Ten yeah. Squared. So uh -huh. sneaky little GCSE question, Kuali, wasn't it? Yeah. How do we write the answer though? That's, That's it. Fine. So you so you just say uh, final answer, uh, ten centimeters squared. That's Is that it. Really it. Yeah, that's really it. Now, if if we I even got, I, uh... I just not the right answer. Oh, I see. Oh, so what they're, they're trying to so even they're even being a bit more sneaky. So you see, usually they'll put centimeter squared there, but they they're trying to catch you out. So they expect you to just put like ten centimeters or something. But if you don't, because it's worth five marks. I, I can guarantee you that one of the marks is getting the correct unit. Wait, and that so is the final answer. Squared. Yep, that's it. Okay, so when it's a proportion, what does that mean? Sorry? Yeah, when it's a proportion, what does that mean? So work out the proportion. Yeah. Oh my God. This question has even bamboozled me. I was about to get it wrong. Work out the proportion of the area inside the square that is shaded. It's 10 out of 16. I, I thought it was that, you know. Yeah, it, it, that is the proportion. Simplify it or no? Uh, I would simplify it, yes. 5 over 8. Yeah, 5 over 8. That, is that the final wow. answer? Then? Yeah, that is the final answer. Wow. So this has been a very sneaky question, hasn't it? Sneaky, yeah. sneaky. Let's move on, everybody.
Okay, everyone, for this question, the examiner really wants some. So let's give him some, okay? So we have, <laughs> we have 3x plus 6 over x squared minus 3x minus 10. Now, this is a typical algebraic question, right? Al algebraic fractions question. But do you know why the examiner wants some here? He's given a completed square. Uh, he's given a, a, a situation where we have to complete the square, but it's not so obvious until you factorize. Now, what I mean by that, now I've, I've just wrote, uh, written down the question so far. I haven't done anything complicated. You've got X plus five over. Now look, look at this. If you factorize the bottom, the denominator here, and just put out, out X as a factor, because that's all you could do. You got X, open bracket, X squared minus 25. Now you see what we have here is oh, yeah. the difference of two squares. Maybe we can do X and open bracket X plus five, X minus five. Yeah, exactly. So A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B, A minus B, right? Yeah. So just to finish off this question real quick, because it's not that difficult. Um, you got three X plus six over X uh, plus two. X minus five. I've quickly just uh, factorized that. Divide X plus five over, now check this out, over X multiplied by X plus five, X minus five. Now, what can we do next, Kuali? Um, so we can keep change flip. Not yet. I wouldn't do it so quick. Yeah, so Why? It's... Because what can you see? Um, we can cancel out. Yeah. So how many X's, X plus fives, going to x plus five, one. So that cancels out to one. And this cancels out to one. So we can't just, a lot of students, you know, sometimes they just cancel out and they just leave nothing there, which is wrong. Because look, if I had, for example, 15 over 25, right? And in fact, let's do 15 over 30. Essentially what you're doing is looking for the highest common factor. How many 15 is going to 15? One. How many 15 is going to 30? Two, right? Yeah. I, I know it's kind of obvious, but I've seen kids make this mistake. So now, if you just clean up now, you've got 3x plus 6 over x plus 2, x minus 5, divide by 1 over... Uh, x, open bracket, x plus... I'll say x minus 5. Yeah, so x, um, okay. open bracket, x plus 5. Now, at this point, you know, I think I think we've I, actually I, messed up. It's x minus 5, so you cancel out the wrong one. Oh, did I cancel? I knew I'd, I'd done something wrong, because that... Because I, I wanted on the other side, because there was an X minus five on that side. So I was rushing there. Yeah, I've canceled out the wrong one. So let's just go back. So um, one second, guys. Oh, I can't go back any further. I was basically, let me just rewrite it. So I had, on this side, I had X plus five over X multiplied by X plus five, X minus five. Right? So we canceled out the wrong one. So I was supposed to cancel out that one. So now I've got three X plus six over x plus 2, x minus 5, divide by 1 over x times x minus 5. It can now, sound as well, because it's 3x plus 2 in the brackets, on top. On top? Oh, yes, we didn't even factorize the numerator here, didn't, uh, did we? That one. So, so yeah, so it's, it's um we can pull out 3, x plus 2, right? And we cancel two of them out. Yeah, we can cancel these out. So now, look, I'm going to carry on here. We've got 3 over, over x. x minus four, what, 5 divided by 1 over x, x minus 5. So now what's the final step? Let's just finish off this question now because it's taken forever. You changed it. Um, hmm. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, you would do keep change the flip. flip. Thank you so much. So it's 3 over x minus 5 times... Um, x and then x minus 5. Over oh. 1. Right, and we see where this is going to go, right? Could we, so could we just done KCF there? So keep change flip. So we got 3 x, right? Because 3 times x, we got that multiplied by x minus 5 over minus five. x minus 5. And that is just satisfying at this point, isn't it? Yeah. Cancels out, and the answer is just 3x. So look, look, the examiner has literally, we've unraveled this big thing here into just three X. Yeah, took some time though, it's worth four marks. 
Okay. Uh, it's worth four marks, yeah? Well, there we go. The examiner wanted some, but we've wrecked him. Okay. The answer is just free X in the end. Okay. Sorry if it got a bit messy. I'm just going to end the lesson here.